innovative finance means very different things to different people. When we talk about innovative finance, yes, we do talk about new products or, or, or new financing methods. And uh, really the goal here is to engage, uh, for example, the private sector to go into areas they wouldn't go. And they don't go into those areas because very often they are market failures or they are suboptimal investment decisions, or very often they just don't have the information or the experience and therefore they don't invest in, this, in, in, in those type of areas. We have to move from the billions to the trillions in regard to an investment in low carbon projects, clean energy and, 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 and others. Um, innovative finance, is it, it allows us to go into areas we are actually not uh, doing something. So for example, take adaptation. Adaptation is very difficult to finance and, and clearly in order to get the private sector in, we need innovative solution for that. One of the, the products we have developed is a fund of funds called um, Global Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy Fund, or in short, GREF. And that is basically um, a fund that is investing in developing countries in, in energy efficiency and renewable energy projects. And through public support, it actually allows the private sector to co-invest with this fund. And this is achieved through a very innovative risk mitigation structure in this, in this, in this product. There is a great interest from the private sector. Here at this COP, you see a lot of institutional investors to invest in climate-related projects. But the one thing you hear from them all the time is that we would like to invest, but they're just not either available projects or available products that we can actually relate to and we can invest in. And I think this is what we have to achieve. It's not only about risk. Another aspect is also, it's just information. So, or experience. We, uh, if you're an investor, what you're looking for is a track record. And we have to be fair, on many of these climate-related projects, we don't have a track record yet. So what we're also doing with these innovative products, very often on a very small scale, is really to demonstrate that certain investment types are possible. And um, to, to then have the private sector replicated them without the public sector. So I think given that the, the public funds are just insufficient to solve the problem by its own, we have to find those solutions that then in the long term the private sector is actually doing it alone and that should be our goal.